Hey guys, so this is going to be a Walmart haul. I actually wanted to go just to pick up a couple of Christmas gifts, and then I needed toilet paper, laundry soap, just stuff like that. So I will go ahead and get started. So the first item that I'm going to show you guys I was pretty excited about, and this is actually just for myself. You guys know I love Hello Kitty. They had these little lip balm sets in Hello Kitty, Trolls, like Disney Princess or Disney princesses and then one other one they were only 488 which I thought was a pretty good deal and the troll one was so cute it had the little trolls hair on top of each lip balm so this comes with the strawberry blueberry cotton candy which will probably be my favorite and the bubble gum and look how cute the lids are you guys it's got this cute little um, box and I'm guessing they include this so you could put the lip balms in there. I'm actually just going to display this in my beauty room and use it for a little storage container. You know, like little crafty stuff or makeup. I don't know. So I got that. I picked up, this is another item for myself, this Fruit of the Loom Cotton Stretch Bra. And this was only $4.98. Um, it's the Racer Push-Up Bra and it's Push-Up Level 2. And normally I would only buy expensive bras because my bras last me like a long time. But I purchased one other really inexpensive bra from Walmart like a year ago. It was a black one. And it was only like $3.48. And it became one of my favorite like comfy bras. It was like really comfortable. So I thought why not give this a try. I didn't try it on so... I don't know. We'll see. If I don't like it, though, I can take it back. And what I like about this is, you guys, it's got the back. There's, like, cotton in there. It's got the back that looks like a sports bra. And the inside of it is in this, like, neon hot pink. And they had one other one that was, like, this kind of gray look. And it had black trim. And now I'm really, like, kicking myself for not buying it. So when I try this one on, if I like it, I will go back and get the gray one. And it's got the front snap, which I really like as well because... Then you don't have to flip your bra around trying to, um, like, unsnap it or snap it. The next item that I got was this pack of underwear. These are for Robert. And these are the Fruit of the Loom um, boxer briefs in the extra large 1820 in the boys. And you get five of the tag free. These were, like, $10 and some odd cents. So with tax, it was, like, around 12 um, I did, however, see this pack of starter, which they don't normally have these ones. They had, like, this little end cap thing with the boys' underwears hanging down, and it was the starter ones. And I liked the colors a lot better. It had a lot more blacks in it, and the material was really nice. It was, like, a soft polyester in the boxer briefs, and those were cheaper. They were only, like, $9 and some odd cents. But the extra large, instead of saying 1820, it was extra large 10 12. And they would probably fit him, but he would have no room to grow into them. So I got those for him as a little Christmas gift. I got this as a Christmas gift. And this is just one of the Fruit of the Loom or Men's Fruit of the Loom hoodies. And this is for Jordan. And this was $12.96. Normally, these Fruit of the Loom hoodies, I think, are like $9 and some odd cents. But when you get um, a larger size, like a plus size, they always dock on a couple of dollars. And I prefer on Jordan and for myself the just regular hooded sweatshirts rather than the ones with the zippers. I just think they look better. And for a Fruit of the Loom sweatshirt, just for a plain one, I think $13. Oh, a tax probably $14 is not bad. So this is a 3XL. It's got the little media pocket where you can put your earbuds or whatever. And I always like to go a little bit bigger so that way I don't have to hang dry sweatshirts because I hate hang drying sweatshirts. They come out like not as soft. So I got that as a Christmas gift for him which I know he will like. I also got for Jordan um, this um, Rasta Bob Marley t-shirt. And you guys know they have those like tacky t-shirts on the back wall at Walmart. And some of the t-shirts I just look at and I'm like, oh my gosh, are you freaking kidding me? But this one actually um, like jumped out to me because Jordan does like Bob Marley and um, I was able to find a 3XL. Like I said, um, I do like to dry stuff, but this, even though it's a little bit bigger, 
I'll probably hang dry it almost all the way and then right near the end I'll dry it for only like 20 minutes just to shrink it a little bit but I don't want to fade it out so it's in the Zion brand 750 they also have the t-shirts on the back wall for like four dollars and some odd cents but those ones are not cool I don't know at least I don't think they are so that's like um only the third time I've ever bought a shirt off the wall with all those t-shirts at least for Jordan and then this is for Robert and I actually got him one of these t-shirts last year for Christmas but this one is different so it's the walking it says AMC walking dead it was 750 and this was an adult size but I just got him a large um because I think if I dry it it will shrink down to the perfect size so I got that one for him I actually got him a pajama set last year. It didn't come together, but I got him the Walking Dead, um, like, soft pajama pants. And then I got him the Walking Dead shirt. And they had the exact same pants there um, this morning. And they had the exact same shirt in the men's section. I picked these slippers up for Jordan. And I thought that these were a really good deal. I normally get him, they're, like, black. And they have, like, these little tiny lines in them. We call them OG slippers, but... They have them in black, tan, and gray, and I get them for them every year, but I don't know. I just thought these ones were nice. These are a little bit more than the ones I normally get. The ones I normally get him, I think, are like 9 or $10, and these ones were $13.84, so a tax, like maybe 15 But for a pair of Levi slippers like this, I thought that was a good deal. And they also have the hard sole, so like, you know, if he wears them out, it's not going to damage them. So I got him those, which I know he'll like. I got Jordan this pack of um, Pokemon or Pikachu socks. And you're probably thinking, what the heck for a grown man? Yes, he does like Pokemon. He grew up with it. So I got him this double pack. And he'll just wear these for like pajama socks. But it's got um, this pair on the front and then um, this pair on the back. And I thought for sure this would be like $9.96. But it was only... Four dollars and some odd cents, so five dollars, which I thought was really good. I picked up my thing of Suavitel. I go back and forth. Is this lid coming off? I go back and forth in between the blue and yellow Suavitel and the royal blue Snuggle, and I love the original um, liquid Snuggle, but you don't get as much. And this is pretty cheap. It's only like two dollars or three dollars and some odd cents it's the morning sun and it is 50 ounces of the liquid fabric softener i picked up this um surf sparkling ocean laundry soap it's the bonus 20 percent more it was four dollars and some odd cents and it's 3.9 pounds and i normally prefer to get like tighter gain but this was so inexpensive when i have my oxy that i can put in with this Plus my liquid fabric softener and then my fabric sheets. I think it works fine. The Oxy really cleans your clothes. I got this for Robert. And he's kind of growing out of these. But he still like kind of likes them. And I thought this one was way too cool to pass up. They have the normal ones. But then they have this zombie line. Um, so I got him this one in the Brian Wyatt. And they also had a couple other ones that looked like zombies. And the regular ones were like $7.50. But these zombie ones were like thir $13 or $14 and some odd cents. And then they also have the Elites, which are I think $17 or $19. So I got that for him. I got this um, pack for Jordan, and this is the Old Spice gift set. It was $9.96. It comes with the Timber with Mint uh, Men's Body Wash, the Timber with Mint Old Spice deodorant. It's got the little Travel Size Pure Sport Plus deodorant, and then it's got the Old Spice Refresh Body Spray. So I know he'll like that. I always get him and Robert gift sets like that, and I almost picked up one of these for Robert, but I want to get him an Axe one because he likes Axe better. And the Axe gift sets that they had there, I just didn't really like the scents that they had very much. Well, I mean, I like them. They just weren't my favorite. I picked up this family size Golden Grams. It was like $3.98, which I think is a good deal. It's one pound, um, 23.5 ounces of cereal. Did I already show you guys this toilet paper? Because I always start and stop a couple of times when I'm filming. So if I already showed this to you in this video, I apologize. I can't remember if that was 
the one that I just stopped or this one. So I got this bathroom tissue. It's 12 double rolls, 24 regular rolls made in the USA, and it's 400 total square feet, $4.20 something cents, I believe. And the toilet paper is decent quality. I got this pack of socks for Jordan, and the reason I didn't get Robert one of these is because he only wears... Um, well, mainly he wears his Nike socks, so I'm going to go to Ross and get him some new Nike socks, but Jordan will just wear these plain black ones, and I always forget how to pronounce this, Gildan or Jilden, and I prefer um, just the all black crew socks for Jordan. I think they look nice, so you get three of them, and it says moisture, I don't know why that says moisture wicking, I don't know what that means, spandex for a better fit. Feel the softness. It's size 6 through 12. And these were only $2.48. And the quality of these socks is, like, really good. So I got him those. I also got him... I get him this brand every year at Christmas. I got him this two-pack. I was hoping they'd have, like, a bigger pack in this brand. But these were also only, like, $4.90. So these are the Boxer Briefs in Extra Large 40-42. For $4.97 premium cotton comfort um, plush waistband and it's got the gray and the black I kind of wish it was all black but whatever then I always get him like um, cute boxers as well at Target they had these for 88 cents you guys and um, it's just like a black as you can see, it's just a black thong. So I thought for $0.88, cents, why not pick that up? They had a bunch of other um, $0.88 cent underwears, just like all different colored thongs, all different color, like regular underwears. So I picked up two of the just plain black thongs. So they're just cotton, nothing special. But I thought for $0.88, $0.88 cents, why not show you guys? I picked up this cute little brush in the um, gift section. It was only a dollar. I have a little wooden brush that I keep in the center console of my car, and I got it at Sally's Beauty Supply. And so I thought this one for my purse, especially since since it's in this bronzy kind of gold, I really love this color. So I got that for myself. Let me see. Is that? Oh, I got. Watch. I'm gonna end up leaving something out of the video, guaranteed. This is my favorite, favorite cream soda. Um, the great value is like the best brand, and I think it tastes the best. This is $2 and like 48 cents caffeine free. It's a 12 pack, so I always pick up one of these when I go to Walmart. Obviously, it's super fattening, but I just love that cream soda. I also got one of the um, price first gallon of milk. I always show you guys this brand because these gallons of milks are only $2.26, which is, like, awesome, because when I run out of milk or we run out of milk, I'm always running down to the liquor store, and it's $5, you guys. Well, $4.89, but that's basically $5 to me for one gallon of milk. That is just so ridiculous. So when I go to Walmart, I pick up, like, two or three of these um, since they're so cheap because even at CVS, the milk is, like, $3 and some odd cents. So for $2.26, you can't beat that. So, I believe that's everything, you guys. I had a couple other things in the cart. I had some um, just random stuff, but I put it back because I wanted to save the money. I still need to go to Ross, Target, and a couple other places and buy some other Christmas gifts and stuff like that. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to be notified when one of my newest videos is uploaded, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.